Lenovo tablet. Model number is a MX seven hundred dash twelve ISK. You can see the model name is a EDQL. So the input is a twenty volt for the charger. Uh, computer plug it to the charge is not charging but the computer is on with the battery has the charge this tablet it turns on with the battery has the charge but it's not charging the battery So the first I check the voltage I check the voltage to here from this pen to the ground I found 3.3 volt and uh, 20 volt and if we look I don't know if you can hear this charger inside it is moving I don't think that's the problem but this was given 20 volt at 2 amp and 5 volt at 2 amp as well that's the output I don't know I found 3.3 .3 volt but I didn't find the, the 5 volt Another thing, I check if there is any pins here in this connector, if any broken uh, or bad solder, everything is good. Then after I remove this, uh, this shield, this copper shield, there is a burned MOSFET. And there is one capacitor is cracked. This MOSFET here. You can see the burn mark. This MOSFET here is look brown around it. And this capacitor here. There is a little crack on the capacitor. This capacitor was just sitting over there, and this is a shorted capacitor. You can see it is moving. Yeah, so just let me take the capacitor and after that I'm going to show you in the microscope. That's the shorted capacitor. Do you think? There is no shirt in the capacitor place. This MOSFET here, there is a shirt in this MOSFET. This MOSFET here, the one next to it, there is no shirt. So let's check it more and see if we can fix it.
All right, so I did some jumpers here after I I removed uh, the bed MOSFET. This one here it is fine, and this one it was like uh, shorted. So what I did, cause this traces it was burned, so I make a jumper from here to here to here and because this trace here is going to the other side of the board and this is the gate so we don't need the, the gate and I don't have this MOSFET so we just do between the the gain and source so the, the 20 volt from the, the charger we transfer it direct to the to this MOSFET and the other side of the board and you know I'm working without the schematic without nothing I'm just uh... so this side of the board the same thing it was a MOSFET here and this is the the gauge so we just we connect we do the jumper between the source and the gate and it's better you make a tiny wire in case if there is any short or overload this wire is gonna burn because uh, I think what happened here is this this shorted the capacitor the one is here that's the one is causing all the the one which was here that's the one was causing all this mess and all this problem so let's test it now and see if it's gonna charge and uh, we go from there so I just done with the, this this tablet so after I fixed the motherboard and you can see now we have the battery charging symbol let me find the password You can see it is charging. Alright, it's a twenty percent. So one hour and thirty minutes of full charge. Let's see if it's gonna go to the twenty nine. Yep, it's twenty nine. So the battery is charging and uh, the device is ready. So this is the jumper that I did. Yep, it's warm. That's normal. Yeah, but it's not extremely hot. Just warm. And you can see it's still charging. 